So here we've got one of the revetments in detail. You Marvellous timbers, aren't they? Yes, quite amazing. This is 12th century, sometime during the 12th century, probably early 12th century. There you have the foreshore that was there before they reclaimed the land. Then they put this base plate on top. You see the timber right down the bottom. And then all the vertical members are jointed into it. And then these braces at the front serve to hold it up. So you've got the vertical members, you've got the braces bracing the front of it. And then the area behind was cladded with these horizontal planks that you see sticking out at the back. And that formed the actual front of the waterfront. Then all of this material was dumped against it and the building was built on top. So you'd have a structure up there and you'd have the Thames all the way across here. Many of the wharf structures are built of reused timbers. Gustav Milne of the Department of Urban Archaeology realized that one wharf in particular had been made of a dismantled house. And he has managed to put together the wooden wall and two uprights of an 11th or 12th century stave and plank building. This is a remarkable find. The houses like this never survive on dry land sites. Right, Chris, shall we see if we can um, put this in the building? You got it? Come on. Easy. Right. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Good, isn't it? We've got the pegs in. 